disrupt it. Weird thing to happen. <laughs> Hello, one and all. Welcome to this edition of Gets Corner. It's been a fantastic day so far. So there was an interesting debacle debate on the Lex Friedman podcast between Norman Finkelstein and Destiny. And considering that Destiny has already destroyed himself when it came to Candace Owens, when it came to other people as he's been trying to debate, um, failed marriage... I don't want to be the guy that brings that up, but it, it was controversial to start with, and it was not, I mean, people know about it. So this guy just can't seem to get a break. And when he gets on to normal Finkelstein um, about Israel-Palestine, uh, don't mess with an educated person. <laughs> like, Destiny set himself up to get uh, basically destroyed and roasted uh by the master class who is actually way intelligent and informed on the subject matter the guy can norman finkelstein can run circles around people like me and you think that going up against him in a debate is going to end well for a twitch gamer well think again so this debate apparently went on for four straight hours <laughs> i didn't watch the four uh the full four hours of Lex Freeman's uh, show here. But I saw the clips of it. And here's just a little breakdown of how it was just the most easily, easily um, first moment for Destiny. What little he had left is completely ripped apart <laughs> by Norman Finkelstein because he's actually educated on the subject matter. Watch how it happens. Uh your name, please? Stephen Bonnell. Okay. I don't plan. think you understand politics. You're it's very binary thinking when it comes to binary. Right yes, binary. Yeah, please don't give me this postmodernism binary. <laughs> believe me, <laughs> I'm a lot more literate than you, Mr. Borelli. I'm going to believe the guy that wrote you the stuff. You read what Wikipedia says. That's... It's called attaching value to words and not talking like a motor mouth. That's it's not controversial. Mr. Bonnell, Mr. Bonnell. Mr. Bernal, please slow down the speech and attempt to listen. Legal you don't standard. Know what's the I know absolutely. Law. You no, have no, the no, I absolutely. You have the I absolutely. I, I, I think, you can't but, um, find but I'm just it saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Believe it or not, normal. Literally, Mr. You can Borelli, it. You can Mr. Google Borelli, it. with all Mr. due respect, with all due respect, yeah. you're such a fantastic moron. It's uh -huh. terrifying. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's so painful. It's so painful to listen to this idiocy. I will answer the question. The pilots were out. To I will kill even four answer children. And it was a, because that was questions. a strike. That was a drone hey, kill Palestinian. You want me today. to answer, or do you want your motor mouth to go? Realizing hey, support. laugh! It's hilarious. The story is so funny. You like see, the problem, Mr. Morelli, is you don't know the ling English language. Please they said, stop with your idiotic... Well, the idiotic, vast majority of protesters who acted in a peaceful yeah. manner... No, listen, also talk fast, talk fast. I'm so people to... think that you're coherent. I'm just reading... You got the months wrong. You got the months wrong. Aside talk from about... Wikipedia, you can, can you yes, tell you can me what your knowledge people, of you the can IDF You talk to people is. who work Wikipedia, in the military. What's your knowledge of you the IDF? Audience... It's true. Children. It's true. I don't spend my nights on Wikipedia. I read books. Um... Oh, even the American judge, she must have been awful incompetent if she was unable to see the misrepresentations that Mr. Bunnell, based on his Wikipedia entry, was able to find. So this is based on Mr. Well, let me Burrell, read, let me read it. Let me Mr. Dead Burrelli, wrong. Mr. Borelli, please don't teach me about the English language. I special intent. Can I'm going to ask you again. Genocide. Yes. Please stop displaying your imbecility. Okay, I'm do sorry not, if you think do, the declaration don't, don't of the judge is imbecile. Don't put on public display that God. you're a moron. At least have the self-possession to shut up. You know anything about how the UN system binding, works? If you, every, you just throw out words. You hear binding, this not two binding. Two even... It may be meaningless to you, Mr. Bunnell. Mr. Bunnell, don't change the subject. If you don't know what you're talking about, about, at least say, have the sure, at least know, have the humility. Two, you talk how, about how close chapter has two six. four two gotten? You don't know how, chapter how close six. has two four two gotten to the Palestinians? Six piece. From tweet five, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's just so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. At least have some humility. 
between us, who have read maybe 10,000 books on the topic, and you've read two Wikipedia entries, and you start talking about chapter six. Do you know what chapter seven is? Destiny should talk yes, about yeah, making you're money media, off yeah, you're of media idiocy. Blitz, will you go yeah. and talk to oh, the option oh, is listen, conflict. Listen to this. Wait, only option is Mr. Bonnell is now an expert on, on Palestinian Hold on. mentality. Hold on. Yeah. Faster, Despite faster, all of the faster, international faster. law. Everybody, move Wait, in. Faster, your your country starting ground. I'm sorry. I can talk slow. You can watch the TV and slow down to 0.5 speed if you don't understand what I'm saying. Let me There's a very there's a very lengthy history. Great. Burrell, at yeah. least I had a quote to cherry That's pick. Great. All you see, have is I can, Wikipedia. You, want the you don't know what you're talking you, about. It's the inner. I'm not happy to say that. Of course you are. It's a. Mr. Trip. Bunnell, I don't think I've avoided any of your questions, of you except you except when they question. breached when they breached the threshold uh -huh. of complete imbecility. So you're about to tell the children. And the... He doesn't want to hear it. It's so no, boring. because it's, it's, it's so boring. Boring. What, what gives you hope? There is no hope. <laughs> God. Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> oh. oh. That's a beautiful way to end that. There is no hope. Oh my god. I mean... How? I can't. There's it's hard to me to even try to find something to defend Destiny on when you know you're gonna get slaughtered. You know you're gonna get slaughtered, and and the you're gonna be wiped with the floor when you're trying to debate Norman Finkelstein on Israel Palestine, and and and, and the fact that he brings up Norman brings up. That he has read countless books. He has lived. He has breathed the understanding of this conflict. And Destiny, who spent most of his life being a gamer, being a, a, a live stream gamer, who read two Wikipedia articles, is now suddenly this masterclass on Israel-Palestine relationships, which, by the way, Wikipedia is run by the intelligence community and operate also by the Israeli uh, uh, operations. So he's getting the article strictly from the propagandists to, to perform propaganda. And you're going to try and debate that with a masterclass uh, professional like Norman Finkelstein. How do you think it was going to go? How do you think it's going to go? Do you, th do, you th do you think you're going to feel proud about yourself when you walk into normal Fing Norman Finkelstein and blurt utter garbage and say that he doesn't understand? When literally all he has to say is, I read books. I've lived through this life. I can give you a full explanation of this entire conflict from day one. Wow. I just, I can't believe, I can't believe that went on for four straight hours. That was a four minute clip, but that, that debacle went on for four straight hours. <laughs> you go watch the Lex Freeman podcast. <sighs> I give, I give it to Finkelstein for, you know, you know, not, not really going overboard. Um, but the other stupidity this guy is spewing out, like, at least he's trying to keep reserved um, and probably do his best Marlo Brando impression. Because <laughs> I, I, every time he was trying to, like, direct him directly by saying Mr. Um, what's his name? Borelli? Pelli? Marcarelli? Macarena? I don't know what, what that, it's Something Steve. But um, when he was trying to direct Destiny personally, it's it's it literally reminded me like scenes of The Godfather where Marlon Brando is speaking directly to Michael Corleone or or the other characters, and it's like, listen to me, don't 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 tell me that I'm an idiot. You don't understand the English language. Like it was just so dead on. It was so dead on. That 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 might be the most hilarious take I have seen 
uh, with Destiny. And this guy, you know, <laughs> I guess I should give him the benefit of the doubt that he doesn't give up because when Candace Owens beats you down, uh, when other people have beaten you down, when other viewers of yours um, are counteracting and see how obvious of a buffoon you are, um, or uh, what did, what did Norman Finkelstein say? A fantastic moron this guy is. When your own audience is smacking you down for being the fantastic moron that you are, and then you go and try to challenge Norman Finkelstein to an Israeli debate, it's not going to end well. You are not going to come out victorious. And I don't know what was going through Destiny's brain to think this was a smart idea, but it's not. I think the only thing good is that maybe Lex Freeman got a lot more viewers and Norman Finkelstein got a lot more fans away from Destiny because of this. And it's true. Like, you're a Twitch streamer that plays a bunch of video games and maybe read two articles and then boom! You know everything about Israel. So now I'm going to challenge the biggest guy in the room, the smartest guy on Israel, and challenge him to a debate. Let's go. Let's rumble. And Norman Fingelstein just wiped the floor with you. God. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. And all it takes is for someone to just come forward and say, listen, you read two articles. I have lived through this. I understand this. I have read all the history books. I understand the geographical location. Like Norman, when you listen to Norman Fingelstein explain the conflict in Israel and, and Gaza and Palestine, it's like, it's like when Vladimir Putin described Russian history since the 8th century. Like that's how far back this guy goes. He knows everything about this and can easily debunk people like destiny or ben shapiro or any of the mealy mouth jackasses who say that they're eloquent and they and they actually uh advocate uh for bring uh the information about israel but then lead leave off important facts because they don't, never did the actual research they never understood the purpose, the the entire philosophy, the entire uh, historical context of Israel and Palestine and why these two nations are constantly in conflict. This guy knows it, but not a Twitch streamer. And a Twitch streamer going against Norman Finkelstein is not going to end well. And I bet you Lex Freeman knew this, and Lex Freeman was just going to sit back and be like, yeah, you know what? It's going to get views. Let's, you, you two do your thing. Roasted.